Hello, 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 good day, and welcome to Mom Cons TV. Oops, not Kong TV, uh -oh. but it's Mom Cons TV. Well, I just wanted to say thank you to those who believed in me, my believers. Not that. To those who trusted me and subscribed on my channel. Through that, I made my first ever video lesson and hope you like it. Disclaimer, I am not a researcher nor a scientist, but I am a science teacher. Hello, good day everyone, and welcome to my Science 7 class. In science, you should know how to deal with activities, experiments, explorations, hands-on activities, and doing a study. But how are you going to do that? So you're going to do that with the use of our first lesson. So our very first lesson is the scientific method. It is a way of acquiring knowledge and solving problem. I am your teacher, Maricon Ensamin. Are you ready? First things first, how do you usually solve your problems? Me, I solve my problem by analyzing my problem first and then think of different ways on how am I going to solve my problem and then apply it to test if it is successful or effective. How about you? In science, there is a proper method of dealing with experiments dealing with problems and answering questions and that is the scientific method scientific method class is the method used by different scientists and their product is their inventions that really helped us in our problems and we are using it nowadays so what is scientific method it is a process of experimentation that is used to explore observations and answer questions. It is a step-by-step -step procedure to be followed in order for you to solve problems and answer questions. The scientific method have different steps. And what are these steps? Let's find it out. The steps of scientific method are observation, question, hypothesis, experimentation, analysis, and conclusion. So as you can see, it goes around the cycle, so all the steps must be followed. Let us now know the step in scientific method, which is observation and question. How are you going to do it? So, you should observe. But how are you going to observe? So, you need to use your five senses. The sense of sight. The sense of smell. The sense of taste sense of hearing and the sense of touch that is the proper way of observing now can you try observing your environment or surroundings using your five senses okay after observing you may now ask a question or find a problem so in observation you need to look for the things that must be solved, not for the things that were already solved. 
Okay? So how are you going to do it? WH questions may do. What, when, where, how, why, and which. Okay, you can use those. Next step, after that, we have the hypothesis. So what is hypothesis? Hypothesis is a scientific guess, okay, about how things work. So it is a scientific guess, a wild guess, and a solution or possible solution to your problem or to your question. So for example, if my hypothesis or I do my hypothesis, then what will happen? Okay, that serves as a guide for you to create your own hypothesis. Again, observation, question, and then hypothesis. After that, we have experimentation. Some people think that experiment were just experiments, but it is a part of scientific method. Okay. So, how are you going to do it? What is the purpose of experimentation? It is to test your hypothesis. Okay? You have to test your hypothesis to know if it is effective or not. And you can tell whether your hypothesis is right or wrong. That is the purpose of experimentation. But, again, in experimentation, you have to follow the rules. You have to follow the science love rules and the different classroom rules. Okay, next is analysis. Analyze your data and results. How? From where? Of course, from your experimentation. Collect your measurements and analyze them to see if they support your hypothesis or not. Okay, you have to gather all the data all the data from your experimentation and this tells you if you need to go back to your or to construct a new hypothesis or to move on to the next step some some students um, if their hypothesis failed they just quit no that is not the proper discipline you must Go back and think of another hypothesis and then do another experimentation and analyze it again until it became successful and effective. Then after that, you will now go to the last step, conclusion. So what is conclusion? Okay, this conclusion part is hard to achieve because you have to be finished in all the steps okay so conclusion is connected to hypothesis Con hypothesis conclusion they are connected because the conclusion tells whether your hypothesis is right or wrong and in this part you can make comments you can make suggestions you can share your success and you can share how effective your study is. And for the suggestion part, so you can put it or write it in a recommendation because in your experimentation, you can see or you can think of different ways that may improve your study. And that will serve as a guide for other researchers that might use your study for improvement. And that's it. That's the scientific method. I hope that you can use it in our next classes, in our activities, and in our experiments and outputs. Now, let's generalize it. Who among you can tell me if what is scientific method?
All right. So the scientific method, let's make it short. It is a step-by-step -step procedure used in solving problems and in answering questions. What are the steps? Who can enumerate to me the different steps in scientific method? Okay. So the steps in the scientific method are observation and formulating question. Observe through your five senses and formulate question from your observations. And then after that, you create your hypothesis, the possible solution for the problem. And then you can make an experimentation to test your hypothesis to see if it is accurate or for you to give a guide to your group mates or to you yourself if you can go back or you must go to the next step and then ana analysis is the next step collect all the data gather them and then after that the final step is conclusion conclusion is connected to hypothesis because in this part you tell whether your hypothesis is right or wrong make suggestions make recommendations and share how successful and effective is your study so i hope that you understand our lesson and this will be very helpful not only in science classes but also in your daily living so let me acknowledge my references, K-12 Milks and ScienceBuddies.org. With that, let me thank you for listening and hope to see you in my next classes. This is your teacher, Connie, again. Thank you and goodbye.